Hello everyone, it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector, and this week I have a large book haul of some books from the Kickstarter, and some new Star Side editions, and a couple of new mass market paperbacks. So getting right into it, my copies of The Way of Kings Prime and Dawn Shard from the Way of Kings Leatherbound Kickstarter have arrived, and they look really, really cool. Both of these are published by Dragonsteel. This one just has a regular novel or novella, and this one as a Sanderson Curiosities book. The Way of Kings Prime is the original draft of The Way of Kings that Brandon wrote back in 2002, and it has spoilers for some events in the books up through Rhythm of War. Brandon went back and rewrote the book later to get The Way of Kings that we actually have today, and so it's really cool that they published this as a curiosity and it's non-canon. Dawn Shard is a Rissen novella that takes place between Oathbringer and Rhythm of War, although you do not strictly have to read Dawn Shard before you read Rhythm of War. It's totally fine if you've already read Rhythm of War to go back and read this because you haven't missed a ton of stuff. I believe it'll probably be more relevant to things that happen later on in the Stormlight Archive series. Now, you can't get either of these books online at the moment except for buying them highly overpriced from eBay. However, extras of The Way of Kings Prime will be up on Brandon's store after all the Kickstarters have been sent out, and Dawn Shard will probably just be available normally for sale because this is a Stormlight novella and they will want to keep it in print. So that will be available on Brandon's store as well. I'm really happy that they made the Dawn Shard novella match the Tor editions for the Rhythmatist and Edge Dancer, Edge Dancer specifically because that means the Stormlight novellas match except for, you know, the logos here because Tor versus Dragonsteel, but making the match was really nice and I really commend them for doing that. One other thing I did want to mention real quickly, the cover art on this one is a symbol by Ben McSweeney and adaptation, I guess, by Isaac Stewart. And on the way of King's Prime, we have the Double Eye of the Almighty by Isaac Stewart. If you want an in-depth look at what's inside both of these books, check out the awesome book haul video that Steph did a couple weeks ago. Now, I also got a couple new editions of Star Sight. The first one is the U.S. Library Edition hardcover of Star Sight, and it looks just like the regular hardcover, except it is case-wrapped, and so it doesn't have a dust jacket, and the cover is printed on and it has its own ISBN. And this book is a remaindered copy. I got it pretty cheap on Book Outlet, but for books that aren't my main hardcovers, like the first print hardcovers for the collection, I don't mind getting a remaindered copy because it's still in really good condition. It was nice and cheap. This means that I do have both Skyward and Starsight in the Library Edition hardcovers now which is really nice to have and keep up with that set. The other book that I have is a UK hardcover of Skyward, and this is a new edition, and it is very, very similar to the first edition of Skyward that they printed in the UK. In fact, on the outside, the cover looks identical. Looking at the back cover, you can see they used slightly different pull quotes, and there are different ISBNs. What's different in this new edition is that in the back of the book there is an interview with Brandon and it contains various question and answer type things which came from at least three separate interviews that I have seen with Brandon all published online amalgamated into one interview for this edition. And so this edition has 16 pages more, a full signature when they print it, than the first edition, which is over here, and this is the new second edition. This edition has a new ISBN, like I showed, and it also has a new number line. You can see this edition, first published in 2021, it actually came out March of this year, and it has a new number line, and so it's a second edition first printing of Skyward in the UK. I'm not sure why they decided to re-release this hardcover of Skyward specifically, but that is what they have chosen to do, and so I picked up a copy, and I'm glad to add that one to my collection and be able to share it with you all today. And the last thing that I have picked up recently is a lot of 
four paperbacks from eBay, the Mistborn Trilogy and Elantris, and all of these are in such good condition, I was delighted, and I did not know this when I got the auction, but they are all first printing paperbacks. I verified that the Mistborn was a first printing, but didn't check the other ones because it was cheap enough. It was about 20 bucks for all four of them. So I was delighted to find that all of them are first printing paperbacks. I already have a copy of Mistborn with this cover as a first printing. However, it's missing the last several pages of the book and it's just in generally terrible condition. So I bought this to replace that copy. I also ended up getting to replace my first printing Well of Ascension paperback because this one is in much, much better condition. So these two are going on the shelves to give away to friends who read the books or go in free libraries or whatever. The Hero of Ages and Elantris are new to me. I did not have a first print of either of these paperbacks, so that is really, really exciting. I am glad to have those and be able to put them on my shelves, and excitingly, this means that the only U.S. mass market paperback that I do not have a first printing of now is Warbreaker, so I am going to be trying especially hard to hunt one of those down because I would love to have that set completed so I could say I have the full hardcover and paperback set of the U.S. editions in first print. I guess that's one of my next goals as a collector. I hope you all have enjoyed seeing all the books in the episode this week. If you want more details about any of the books, go ahead and ask me in the comments or over on the Discord. If you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, go ahead and subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it. I will see you all next week with another video. Until then, happy collecting.